Hi guys, fall has officially arrived here, though I'm not sure you can tell from where I live because I'm about to go sit at a game for my daughter and it's like almost 90 degrees outside. So, oh well, I love fall but I am ready for a fall wardrobe, so fall makeup, all of that jazz. But anyways, I wanted to update you guys on how I did on the 5 by fall tag, which I do not get an A+. Plus. So. I will just pull out all the products that I was going to use up and let you know what I have left, if anything. And if you didn't get to watch that video, I will link that one below. But the first thing I wanted to use up, not because I don't like it, but because I'm not a brow pencil girl, is the IT Cosmetics Brow Power Universal Brow Pencil. And I used this every day from that video until this video. Every day. And I'm still going. That's that's a lot left. So this tiny, tiny sample, which I think you can buy these, the little ones, for a very inexpensive price, um, will last you forever. And I was a little over ambitious, so that's a fail, but I'll keep using it. It's not a bad product. It's a good color. The color depends on how hard you push. You can get a light color, or you can absolutely get a darker color. It stays fairly creamy for as long as it's going to last you. Um, it's not the creamiest pencil I've ever used, but I don't necessarily need it to be. I just need it to stay put, and I I don't know. Like I just really, really like the e.l.f. brow kit, and so I compare everything that I use against that, and this just, to me, isn't as good as that $3 product, so I won't repurchase it, but I'm glad I tried it. I do like that you have the pencil on this side, and you have the spoolie on this side, so you just put the pencil on, run it through your brows. It's nice. It's just not my favorite. The next thing, which I did use up A plus for me on this particular product, is the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. It has this kind of crazy paddle contraption with holes in it to put it on, well, to get it out. So I couldn't really get the rest. It's a glass jar, so I can't cut it open or anything out of here. I feel like people talk about this like it's made of, what do people say, unicorn tears and angel wings and all that, but um, I don't find it magical. So to me, it's not worth purchasing, but I'm glad I tried it and got to use it up. Um, another thing I failed on was this Tarte Provocateur Pressed Mineral Powder with SPF 8 in the shade Light or as I call it, the pressed powder that will not die. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this in my empties for next month because I don't love it. I used it and used it and used it. I still haven't hit pan. I find it to be, I don't know, maybe it's the wrong color. It's not chalky. It's pretty finely milled. It's a great sample size. This was free with an order I placed on Tarte.com. But I just don't love it. I feel like when I put it on, I, I have powder face and I think maybe it's just the color is wrong for me so I gave it a really good go this month and I'm just I'm just not I'm not going to use it anymore. This will also go in my empties. The name has rubbed off. It is the Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Concealer in the brightening shade. I use this here, 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 here and under my eyes as my highlight and I really really like this. I have two backups. So Yay, I used that one up, and for the last product, I also used it. So my average isn't terrible. I was just super ambitious apparently on the other two. But this is the Voluminous Mascara Miss Manga. I used this up. Um, oop, yep, dried, dried right up. Um, but this is the brush. What I don't like about the brush is that it has this bend. I know that's one of the quirky things that's supposed to make it cool, but I can't tell you, I love the formula, but I can't tell you how often I went to use it and hit myself in the eyelid with it. And that's just no good. Nobody wants this all over their eyelids. As good as it is on the lashes, it's not made for the lids. So for me, I may repurchase it, but I have a ton of mascara in the wings right now. So, um, I don't know. And I wish they would get rid of that weird quirky bend in the brush because then I definitely would repurchase that. I loved the formula. It was lightweight. It never irritated my eyes. So yeah, I feel like I did okay on my 5x5. Five five. How did you guys do? Let me know in the comments below if you guys ever do anything like Project Pan or if you're interested in me doing that because I kind of loved this. kind of loved the idea of trying to go through what I had, pick out things I loved, 
and use them. So I'm thinking of going on a no buy. I don't know, sometime this year. So let me know if that's something that you'd be interested in watching. And I will give that some more thought as well. Thanks, guys. Bye.